now. A Jacksonville father is guilty of murdering his wife 26 years ago. Action News Jax told you moments after Michael Haim was found guilty of second degree murder. Michael Haim killed his wife Bonnie and buried her body in their backyard. Her son found her remains while digging up that yard during renovations. Action News Jax, Christy Turner joins us live now. She spent the past three days in the courtroom. Christy, it took an hour and a half to find him guilty. And we've heard several days worth of evidence, emotional witness testimony, and closing arguments today in the Michael Haim trial, but it all came down to those 90 minutes and the jury finding him guilty. 52 year old Michael Haim watched intently as both the defense and prosecution delivered emotional closing arguments Friday. To the dead, we owe the truth. The truth of this case was always out there, it was very in a shallow grave in his yard. The prosecution made its final case in an effort to convince the jury to convict Haim of the murder of his wife in 1993. You don't bury an accident in your backyard. The defense tried to cast doubt on the evidence presented during the trial, including an injury found on Bonnie's pelvis bone that prosecutors say could have been from a 22 caliber gun. I'm going to shoot his wife. And he had handguns. You heard about that. A hand, one handgun. Do you think you should go get a rifle, a 22? In his testimony Thursday, Haim said he loved his wife and would never hurt her. Do you feel at all responsible for Bonnie Haim's murder? No. But it was up to the jury to decide. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of murder in the second degree. Haim showed no emotion as the jury found him guilty of second degree murder. A judge revoked Haymes' bond. He was just placed in handcuffs. His sentencing date will be May 17th. After the guilty verdict, we heard very powerful victim impact statements from the family. I'll have a new reaction from Bonnie's family coming up all new at 6. Reporting live outside the Duval County Courthouse, Christy Turner, CBS 47 Action News, Jax.